Good morning YouTube. Now I did mean to start this video looking at the thing of beauty that is my 1980 Honda CB250 RS and then looking at another thing of beauty which is another 1980 Honda CB250 RS which arrived this morning. Uh, but unfortunately I got so carried away because I want this is this is lovely. Um, the guy that built it, put it together, has done a really, really good job. Uh, frame has been powder coated, swing arm, has Hagon sh shocks. Rims have been relaced with stainless spokes. GN250 rear hub, so it's got a proper cush drive on the back. Homemade pipes, not a huge fan of those, but someone's taken many, many hours to do those. Um, it is in lovely condition. I've already robbed a few bits off. Rear mud guard was much better than the one on the trusty rusty, so that came off. And obviously, as you can see, crowds are panniers. Hey, who remembers these? Who remembers these from the um, 70s and 80s? So, yeah, I'm going to go blue. I always like the blue. My friend John had a blue one, and that's what drew me towards the RS. So, the blue bodywork is going to come off because it is a lot better than the trusty rusty which um, although it'll be a shame to actually take this bike apart because it was completely original pretty much it is going to evolve into a better bike I have already painted the engine as you can see don't look too close far from good good from far but I've already bolted the um, panniers on um, I just need to put the top box back on which is still on the other half of the rack. So the top box is gonna go on. And that is already loaded up with my stuff for Wales. Spare oil, some tools, spare gloves, waterproofs, etc. So that's already for my trip for Wales. But look at it, eh? Hey? Front wheel's been relaced with stainless spokes as well. So I will be basically, I'll be robbing the, um, oh yeah this is off because um, I went to fire it up and um, it wouldn't fire up, there's no spark so I've messaged the guy and said there's no spark but I have no doubt it's going to be something simple because the condition of the rest of this is absolutely beautiful I've already robbed the now yeah, let's see if I can pop the, pop, pop the panny off so that's the panny frame there I've already robbed the Hagon, the Hagon shocks off of the old one, rob them because these are nicer than the cheapest that I bought. Um, I will, I will fit the rear wheel from this one. I might do the whole thing wholesale because it has got a Metzler ME22 on the back, which is what I've just bought for the trusty rusty. So I may well do that. Um, so this will go blue, but yeah, the guy really, really looked after it. Um, apart from the starting issue, which will be something simple. I've absolutely no doubt of that. Uh, yeah, but look at it. But the main thing is, oh, while I'm here, look. Look at this. Original Honda toolkit. Okay. Not only that, but if you come around here, ha ha ha. Are you ready for this? An intact toolbox. Do you know, well, if, you, if you're watching this and you like 250 RSs, you will know, but do you know how rare these are? I've already tried it, it opens properly. So, yeah, very happy with that. But yeah, this, do you know what? This is a lovely bike. I mean, look at the swing arm. It has all been done. Um, I do need to bolt some, bolt a few bits on after swapping the shocks over. But the guy that had this, really, really, is a guy called Frank from up in Scotland. Another Scottish bike. Trusty Rusty came from Scotland. From Mikey. But yeah, another Scottish bike. Um, he has left me a note, which I haven't read because I got so sucked into swapping parts. 40,000 miles, which I'm sure is genuine. Uh, but yeah. Look at it. It is in beautiful condition. I will have a look at the forks and see if the forks are better than mine. If they are, then obviously they'll be swapped. 
and there's nothing wrong with the ones on the on the trusty rusty um, I just want to make the best RS that I can out of the two but the main thing is look oh if you know RS's you will know how rare these fairings are with the fitting kit so that'll be going on for my trip now I don't know if I'm going to use the panniers for whales or not I'll um, I'll have a think about that because I can't get a key to work in them I mean they open and they lock and they unlock but you can't lock them on the bike so I'll have a think about that but yes that will be going on this is the sort of guy he was engineering wise look rear crash bars he said I've got some rear crash bars do you want them and I said yeah chuck them in because I might well put them on the new bike which will be the old bike which will be um, probably sold to be fair I might run it around for a little bit but it will probably be sold um, but yeah look engineered I think these probably go on the top shock top shock mount perfectly engineered but he said he didn't think these fitted with the panniers but I've just offered them up and I think they might but I'll have a play with that and then big box of spares so there's lots of odds and sods in here what have we got we've got some rear lights we've got headlight shell with a lamp we've got a set of crank cases ah, another rear light stuck in there what's down there some clocks another set of clocks crankshaft yeah, there's a little bit of play in that yeah that needs a rebuild if I'm going to use it uh, some wiring sprocket cover uh, brake pedal what have we got there indicators, lenses, lots of useful bits footrests so yeah that's where it is. So I should have done this properly and gone trusty rusty as it was and then ta-da! But I couldn't help myself. Um, oh, it, does, it also came with a spare rear wheel. This is a, that's an RS rear wheel, genuine, on the DID rim. Um, but it's been reloaded with stainless spokes. So that's a nice touch. And I've got a spare, that's a front rim. Well, they're, they're identical to be fair. They could be a front or rear rim. So yeah, a trusty rusty getting ready for Wales, and the new one, 1980 again. So that's the very quick update. Um, there is someone interested in this, but obviously, if they don't want it, then um, if you're watching this video and you want first refusal. I haven't ridden it yet, but I mean, looking at it, I have absolutely no doubt that um, that it will run absolutely perfectly. The guy that owned it was fastidious, and I really like that. You know, it is stainless bolts everywhere. I say stainless; they might not be stainless bolts when uh, when this goes up for sale. Vaseline on the side stand. Oh, side stand on the side panel lugs to stop them snapping I'll have a look at the air filter at some point but I'm sure that'll be lovely but yeah if you're interested ping us a message um, so it will be black and it will be it will have a lot of parts of the trusty rusty which as you know are all perfectly serviceable because I've been riding it around for the last few thousand miles and um, I haven't got time to swap them all over today is what is it Saturday I've got to start getting ready for a wedding otherwise I'll be doing a few bits to this now or a few more bits should I say um, but I'm going to run out of time so there are some mirrors for this some mirrors as well standard ones like that but yeah that's the update the old sheepskin now this was a these are, these are like mega money off of um off of eBay, you can see it's proper sheepskin. That was a hat. I went on eBay and I looked for woolen 1970s hats and this came up and it cost me something like 50p. I mean, who wants an old 70s hat? So I basically cut around it, 
stuck some um, straps with cable ties through the leather and uh, yeah it's on there loosely because if it rains while we're away I want to better take it off and throw it in the top box so it doesn't get soaked but that makes a nice nice difference in comfort and cost me 50p plus postage plus an old strap that I kick him round so top tip that's the original RS seat obviously with a blue tailpiece bolted to it I'm keeping as many good original parts on the trusty rusty as I can to keep it as original as I can but there comes a point where I want to make it look nicer I will at some point in the future I will strip the whole thing down and I'll get the frame powder coated because if you look at this swing arm oh, it's lovely and if you can see that now I may I may pull that out and swap it over I'm in two minds because all the needle roller bearings would have all been um, worn into uh, to, uh, well, I said they'd be worn into that pivot, weren't they? To that, to that axle. So I could just change the whole axle. I'll see how much time I've got and whether I can be bothered. But the wheels definitely go on the trusty rusty because that's got a cush drive on it. So yeah, that's the update. If you want this in the future, ping me a message, um, and I will try and do a quick vid before I head off to Wales. Today's Saturday. I'm going on Tuesday. Uh, I've got a wedding today, I'm around tomorrow, I'm at work Monday and then Tuesday I head off, so I haven't got a lot of time, so there might be a bit of burning the midnight oil, but that's it, stay safe everybody, if you're riding, if you're not riding, watch crap videos on YouTube of stupid old men playing with motorcycles, <sighs> there's the DRZ, not really sulking, but um, I've got to fix my finger properly before I can ride that. Oh, look, Mark's I'm holding, the, holding my phone. Yeah, I need to. Uh, doesn't really bend properly. It's getting there though. That'll be alright. So, anyway, YouTubes, have a good day, and I'll catch you soon. Ta da. As always, very quick update on the end of my video. I went inside and actually read the paperwork that Frank had sent to me. Because I texted him earlier to say, Frank, I've got no spark. I can't work out why it won't start. So um, I read the paperwork and he's told me about um, a uh, secret switch, shall we call it, that cuts the spark for uh, anti-theft reasons. <laughs> so I've messaged him and gone, ignore my last message. Um, so I'll trip that, I'll, I have tripped that. And uh, this, uh, if I balance that there, let's give it a kick, see if it'll start. Now I haven't started it, so. This is a genuine, um, genuine kick. The choke doesn't stay out, I need to sort that out. Give it a couple of pumps. Choke off because it uh, doesn't stay out. That's just an adjustment. I saw that out. But yeah, beautiful. Right, anyway, there we go. I knew it would be something simple. Happy days. Unfortunately, I've got to go and get ready. Well, say not unfortunately, I'm really looking forward to a wedding. A friend of mine, Mike's getting married to um, Nick, which is going to be a bloody great day. So uh, there's no unfortunately about it, but it does mean I haven't got time to keep swapping bits over. That'll be another day. So, always remember when someone writes you a letter telling you about the bike, read the bloody thing before we try and start it happy days stay safe everyone catch you soon